Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, GFitness22 here. At the moment we are at Thursday, almost at the end of the week, which for me is good news because I will be eating some pancakes and pizza on Sunday. Yes, I've come, oh wait, no light here for you to see me. I have officially, okay, so welcome back to the awful, awfully bright lights here in the gym. So yes, I'm, I'm actually at that point of in prep where I'm looking forward to my cheat day because it really helps me push and crack on. Now, today we are not doing 30 minutes of cardio, but we are doing 40 minutes of cardio. 40 minutes of cardio pre-workout pre and 15 minutes of cardio post-workout. The moment, at the moment, the time is 4.30ish, 5 in the morning and it's usually that time of day where the only person I speak with uh, rather than myself is Iwona as she is awake also and cracking on grinding with her prep. <laughs> so one of the most diff difficult things for me is to actually start the vlog. Like the first few videos of every vlog where I have to just uh, get into the groove of talking to the camera. Now today is Thursday, as I said, so it's back day. Back and biceps day. It, it's supposed to be a heavy back day and I have to hit arms as well. I feel extremely run down. I feel broken physically, mentally, never. I feel my joints. I can feel that I'm losing weight. I'm uh, hovering around 90, 91 kilos depending on the day I am relatively shredded so what I'm gonna do my first competition is four weeks away one day under four weeks so for that one I'm not gonna dehydrate myself for the MPC Balkan Prix which is gonna be in October in Sofia they've increased the weight cap for my category which means that I can I can even go out on stage right now if I carb up. Which is good because I don't want to lose more weight and I'm a bigger fan of using the, let's say, using the mirror as a gauge and the scale more or less as a navigation from time to time if I'm losing. Because at the end of the day I have to lose some weight, right? But anyway, let me continue with the trend and let me show my feet, maybe show a little bit of a quad here action, BAM! Anyway, <laughs> I'm a very difficult, uh, difficult, I'm a very driven individual. I have extreme self-belief and confidence. I, I always try to gauge it and for it to never spur out into arrogance. However, today I feel exhausted, everything hurts, and I have to do a heavy back session. So, my philosophy of life, on life, is that there is one difference between the bull and the cow. When there is a storm coming, the cow starts running away from it. So eventually the storm catches up. The cow is still running, however, so the storm remains on top of the cow. And the cow is in the storm way longer than it needs to, than necessary. The bull view, see, sees the storm, runs right at it, right at the eye. He's scared, he's petrified. However, sooner rather than later, he's already on the other side of that storm. So, that's my philosophy on life. Face challenges head on. Don't avoid them because usually when you try to do that, you find yourself ending up taking a shortcut to them. Now, at the moment I'm at 11 minutes of my cardio and soon I'm gonna have clients in the gym. So, I'm gonna cut this video in a little bit and we're going to continue later on when I'm having breakfast. <laughs> breakfast, by the way, is another one of those meals that I really enjoy as I have bread. I really love chili, so I put a lot of chili on it and salt. Other than that, a little bit under four weeks out, 
I am thirteen. I cannot show the apps, but trust me, they're there. And yeah, I'm gonna leave the camera now, as my hand is going a little numb. And we'll continue on from breakfast. Let's get it, guys. Okay, so let me turn this around. So now that we've established the tradition with the with the slippers and with the feet, we can we can say now that I'm a real vlogger. So today I've been extremely low on energy. Uh, now that I've entered my last month of prep until the first show, I can feel the fatigue and I can feel my body really being exhausted. And also very good. <laughs> so it's the, the leaner I get, the fragile I get. Okay, so I'm still not completely used to the idea of walking and talking to the camera. However, with time, I hope that I will get used to it. So now, what I will do is I have to go and to shop for meat. Now, the funny part is that I didn't park here and I wanted to go to my car. However, there you go. More prep brain for you. So yes, I thought that my car is gonna be right there. However, because I'm a dumbass and I'm very tired and my brain is sluggish, I have part on the other side. So, let's get there. So, only managed to get to the meat shop, got my chicken, and now I'm gonna go and cook. Damn, flat as fuck. I am extremely exhausted, so most probably won't, won't upload today, make a bigger vlog. I'm traveling to the village again on Saturday, so most probably I'll just feel the tomorrow's workout and release that vlog and then make another vlog with the village and hopefully include more content from there. So yes, let's see however how I feel. I might record more today, we'll see. Okay guys, hello. It's almost at the end of my day. I had all of my meals, I've pretty much done everything for today I had to do in terms of work, in terms of training. Actually, this was one of my most difficult days in terms of physical and how I feel. However, at the same time, business started to finally catch up, so it was a good day, money-wise. One thing which is very important to remember from days like this is that the only time you lose is when you give up. When you continue on pushing, even though you may not find amazing results every single day, sometimes the result is hidden in you not giving up and doing the necessary things. Even though if it's gonna be just ticking boxes. <clears throat> Tomorrow, not gonna be training in my gym. I'm gonna train at the coach gym, Fit Factory. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a workout after 12, 12, 13 in the afternoon. I'm gonna have my breakfast and my post-workout meal prior to my workout. So I can have my chicken and rice meals and chicken and potato and chicken and salad at home. I might just prepare meat and rice tomorrow morning, but we'll see. Most likely would, would not do that, however we'll see. Uh, it's gonna be, I think, pushing, like uh, chest, shoulders and triceps tomorrow, I'm not quite sure. Uh, one thing I do know, every time I train with coach, it's gonna be painful. I am gonna record it and I'm gonna include it in this vlog. So the vlog which you're, which you're watching now is supposed to be Thursday, Friday. And I'm gonna make another vlog which I'm gonna put on on Sunday, which is gonna be the village traveling. Yep, yeah. let's just make a quick form check and continue on tomorrow. Legs are starting to come in nicely. One thing you can't fake is feathering on your quads. If your quads are feathering, that means you've been working hard. And ain't nobody can take that away from you. There. Okay, so back in the gym, already did my cardio, trained a few clients, had breakfast. Current shape. Pretty much shredded. So at the moment I'm sitting at 90 kilos. I woke up a kilo and a half lighter than yesterday. 
And I woke up actually quite energ energized uh, in comparison to yesterday, where I was feeling like complete shit. So this is actually the reason why I wanted to make this video and include it into my vlog. Because yesterday was a very difficult day for me, both on the business side of things, also on the training side of things. What I mean, I was feeling retarded, I was feeling flat as fuck, I was feeling weak. My body was under immense stress. I was having uh, some earthquake type of situations in my workplace, which I managed to handle and turn around. So in conclusion, I'm sitting here the next day after I cracked on, I did not, uh, I, I did not quit. I did not give up on that day. I did not say it is just a bad day. So I'm just going to continue tomorrow and whatever happens, happens. I pushed on, I stayed awake a little bit longer. However, at the end of the day, I'm waking up today, having better shape, weighing less and with business running well. The thing that I want to take out from this is the only way for you to succeed is to not give up, regardless of how many times you fall. The only thing which is final is you deciding not to continue, which ultimately would mean a failure. As long as you keep on pushing, as long as you keep on trying, sooner or later, the probability and possibility for a successful event, they are growing exponentially high, at least in my point of view. Като цяло, пичу е, това, което искам да кажа е да не се отказвате. Не бъдете като масите, не бъдете филмари, не бъдете злобари, не бъдете обсебени от себе си. Не си мислете, че вашия живот е най-труден. Дори напротив, всеки един път, когато имате гаден ден, вместо да си казвате колко ми е гаден деня и ти няма да ме разбереш, не мога ти го обясна, че си кърък, това е един характер изграждаш ден. Дни като този правят другите дни хубави. So yes, let's see how the day goes. Now at the moment the gym is empty, so I took the liberty and time to make it silent with no music and record the video. But yes, other than that, for now, for this part of my day, I'm gonna cut the video here and we're going to continue from the gym of the coach. Let's get it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So at the moment it's around midday, 12.30ish, I'm going to Fit Factory to train chest, side delts and biceps. I'm gonna do it with coach. I am running late on a couple of minutes, something that I don't like. So I'm a little bit in a rush, it's extreme heat. And I'm ready to destroy some chest. So, see you in the workout.
Hey guys, good evening. Uh, the video which I was intending to end the vlog with, uh, for some reason doesn't have sound. So I'm making this video in order to be able to upload the vlog this evening. I'm just about to go to sleep, everybody is asleep, so I'm trying to be really quiet. I just want to give you one message at the end of this video, and that is, regardless of how much you believe that you cannot do something. The person who believes he can and the person who believes he can't are both usually right. Be the one that believes he can. Let's get it.